Hey, Keller Williams, Hudson Valley Group. I am so excited to bring to you Vishay Chevalier, our new bull coach. And we wanted to spend some time with you and have just an honest conversation about you, your business, what your goals might be, what your struggles are, and how we can help you. And uh, Vishay, I'm just really excited about you being here and spending some time with us. I'm excited as well. And I get to spend seven weeks in New York. I've done bowls all over New Jersey, Connecticut, just the entire region for like a year and a half and never was assigned a bowl in New York. So I'm excited about that. And you're going to love the Hudson Valley. It's beautiful. And the people here are the best, right, guys? <laughs> I love that. So, so you know, I, I wanted to have this conversation uh, with you because I believe that bold can be a huge catalyst for an agent's production. And yet everyone has a different experience with uh, the program. They have a different business. There are many people who are probably saying, oh, great, but I've done it already. And I've done it a couple of times. So I think we should just jump right in and uh, call out the white elephant in the room and just say, what is uh, different about this bold and what could someone expect from hanging out with you for several weeks? Well, hey, those are great questions. And number one, they can expect to have a lot of fun because I'm a ball of energy. And look, my coffee hasn't even kicked in yet. So <laughs> <laughs> a high, super energetic, bold experience. And my goal is to bring you the best bold experience you guys have ever had. So what's new about BOLD? It's a lot new about the BOLD program. So we did this rewrite in August. And the best way I can describe it is like the original BOLD and the last version of BOLD had a baby. That's the best <laughs> way I can describe it. And what I mean by that is we brought some of the fun exercises from um, original classic BOLD. And I promise it's not the money exercise. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> It's not that. Yeah, we brought some really relevant exercises like the firing line in there, the, the objection handler exercise. So we brought a lot of great activities into bold. And this one is also, it's more skill set based and it's a lot of masterminding in here, a lot of role playing in this bold. And it's to get you out of your seat. So you're just not hearing me all day long. So we're going to be engaging with each other and really team building. So we've also brought back the sale by owners. We've brought back expired. And we have a lot of that going on in the industry right now. So it was super important for us to help the, the agents to increase their lid on how to handle those types of, of clients, right? They're the low-hanging fruit. They've already raised their hand and say, I want to sell my house. So we're going to teach you how to do that effectively, we're going to give you a surefire listing system from front to back because we know that everybody desires to take more listings. And a lot of people are successful listing agents by winging it. Yet we're going to teach you a system for you to be able to effectively pre-qualify them, how to have a great pre-listing packet sent in advance and how to have a rock star consultation. We brought investing stuff into bold. So oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we did with a lot of investors. So we actually brought skill set around how to help agents pick the best investment for their best investor clients. Mm -hmm. So that's just the tip of the iceberg. It is every single step is something new and exciting in it. And and you know what I think is important for us to to really make clear to all of our agents is that whether you've been in the business for a day or a hundred days or a hundred years, there's something for everyone uh, in bold. And, and that is, you know, one of the things that I think sometimes an agent might resist is, is either saying I'm too new or I already know all those things. But what I love about bold is that it gives you an opportunity to really get present in your business for that one day a week and really look at tweaking something you might already be doing or adding some new tools to your toolbox. So it sounds like, you know, based on what you just shared, there's a lot of tools and resources that will help you actually take business. Yes, our goal is to help you take action in every step of bold, starting at step one. It's our intention for you to walk out of that room with an appointment or a referral or both. Wow. And so it's very skills-based, hands-on right there in the room. 
And a testament to that is, so I'm a MAPS one-on-one -on -one coach as well. And I, my, it's my goal every step of bold to partner with the other MAPS one-on-one -on -one coaches and their clients to kind of piggyback off of what their goals were and their, make sure they're in alignment with what's going on in the room. I have been getting so many calls from MAPS coaches saying that their clients are loving this bold because it's so relevant to what they need and what they're doing right now in today's market. And that's really, I think the key, right, is that it's it's relevant, that it's not that you're going to sit in a classroom and just, you know, be fed a lot of information. It's it's taking action and moving the needle in your business, getting out of or getting into the next level of production, which I think is is really what a lot of agents are challenged with right now. You know, we know that the market shifted a while ago and it's it's still probably going to be the same market this year in, in a lot of ways than it was last year. And yeah. so, you, you know, I would say a question to ask yourselves is what what was last year like for you and what do you really want more of now in 24? And if you want to take more listings, if you want to close more deals, if you want to make more money and if you want to work smarter rather than harder, then this would be where you should invest your time. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, one of the other things that I'm, I'm hearing that agents are really soaking up and enjoying we have brought in over 50 pages of conversations. We don't call them scripts anymore. We call them conversations. And why so, is that? Because I get asked that all the time. Why isn't it a script? Why do we legal, call it a conversation? Legal, legal has informed us throughout our entire company. Scripts is, the, is now a bad word. <laughs> yeah. I don't know yeah. all of the stuff behind it yet. <laughs> I think psychologically, right, when you can when you can embrace this as a conversation yeah. rather than something you just have to memorize and be robotic, I feel like you can also internalize it more too because yeah, that's really exactly. what it is. It's just giving you more word choices. And, mm -hmm. and the words you say matter and can make a huge difference in the outcome. So I, you know, as, as a coach too, I love that. I think that, that that's key. And that, you know, and the crazy part is you're right. People say that, well, that doesn't sound like me or they just resist it. It's memorizing, internalizing and customizing. So we've given 50 pages between phone conversations, um, texting conversations, email conversations, two-way messenger conversations. So people never have to worry about, well, what do I say in this situation? We've right. given you 50 pages of examples that That's you can awesome. memorize, internalize and customize. And, you know, back to something you said a minute ago about relevant, uh, I feel that you're also a, a really great coach for Bold because you're still in production, right? I am. I have two teams, one in Houston and one in New Orleans. Yeah. So you can really understand what the agents are working to achieve here. Absolutely. And I do residential, commercial, land, military relocation, luxury. It doesn't matter. I can pretty much help them in, in every area of their business. Well, we had a really great call with you this morning with our leadership team, and we all felt very inspired by the new content, uh, the the new uh, focus of Bold, and also the conversation we had around knowing our numbers, because numbers tell a story. So what are some of the things or numbers an agent should be tracking in their business, and, and what are they looking to determine by the story the numbers might tell them? Oh my goodness. This is one area that I love to coach around is because the numbers are the language of business. If you don't know your numbers, how do you ever know that you're going to hit your goal or how to hit your goal or when you can even stop working? And so we're going to teach them how many to track, how many conversations they're having, how many appointments they're setting as a result of those conversations, how many calls to appointment ratio so they can understand what the conversion rate is, how many appointments set to actual signed agreements so they can understand what their efficiency is. We're going to teach them every all the business numbers they will ever need and how to convert them. We're going to teach them a system on what happens if I'm not on target. How do I make up? How many listings you should carry at all times? And we're going to also teach them because this is one area where most agents they are clueless on. They set a goal because it sounds good. I want to beat the goal I did last year. I just want to beat another agent. It sounds mm. good. And so we have them do a form called Life by Design. So we teach them how, what do they want to do with the profit? That's after expenses. What do they want to do with the profit? Then we add the tax rate in. 
Then we teach them about the cost of sales for real estate. Then we teach them about the business expenses. And after we add in all the taxes, we then divide that by their um, average commission. And that gives them the number of units they need in each area. And then uh -huh. we match that up to, is that an alignment with the goal that you originally set? And you know what? 90% of the time it's not. Mm -hmm. Well, and what I love about that is, you know, some agents may not take the time to figure it out. Some may not know how to figure it out. And yeah. clarity, we know clarity is power, right? So that that's an opportunity. So I said that we would have an honest conversation, you know, uh, about this. So there's probably someone watching this right now saying, this sounds good, but I've done this before. I've taken bold. I I, I get it. I'm, I'm, I don't need to do it again. So what would you say to someone who might come to us with that as a reason why they can't do this yeah. again? And you know what? That's a limiting belief. And it's also a little bit of ego. Mm -hmm. And the reason I say that is because I was that person before I became a bold coach. I was the number one agent in my market center. I was killing it. And I had a mega team and I, we were killing it. And I went the bowl kicking and screaming because I was on the ALC and it was a part of my job in order for me to be on the ALC. And so I went kicking and screaming and I didn't do half the things in bold because, oh, that don't sound like me. I would never do that. And I, I, my business grew a little bit. And then I had to do bold again to stay on the ALC. And so it wasn't until bold number seven that I actually decided to play all in. Hmm. And my life forever changed. My business. And, and I just want to say that's the key. Is it not, Vishay? Because you can take up a seat and mm -hmm. you could show up every week, but it's about really being all in. And my, I was able to, when I decided to say, you know what, Vishay, you don't have all the answers. Yes, you're killing it in your market. And when I went on that family into family reunion and saw on that stage that my production looked like pennies compared to what some of those agents were doing, that was a checkup from the neck up, like Zig Ziglar says. And a I, humility there, right? Yeah. And I was like, that ego got silenced really quick. Mm -hmm. And I had to say, you know what? You deserve more. Your family deserves more. And your legacy does. And when I decided to play all in, my family's life was forever changed. I was able to do things for my family that they would never be able to do for themselves. And I knew that bold will work if I did the work in bold. So for those that say I've been there, done that, my question is, have you mastered it? Have mm -hmm. you achieved the level of success that you desire? Mm -hmm. Can you stop working today if you never sold another house? That's it right there. Because, you know, we talk to agents who might say, listen, I've been doing this for 30 years. I got this. I know what I'm doing. Yet we're not asking the right questions because what you just said is so powerful. You know, great. You might be in the top, you know, let's say the top 10 in your market center or in your in your market. And yet if you stopped working today, what would your financial picture look like? What would your life look like? Um, because I'm really excited to hear that we're incorporating wealth building and, you know, information about money and information about investing in bold, because we have to understand we're entrepreneurs. We're not just salespeople. And we should think like entrepreneurs and we should build businesses like entrepreneurs build businesses. And we should. And think about this. I want you to, I'm going to leave you with this. I'm 48, about to be 49 next month. And I became an entrepreneur at 22 years old mm -hmm. and I bought my first business and I said, I would never go work for anybody else. And I owned a hair salon and my clientele, hundred percent of my clientele worked for Enron and Dynacor. We know what happened in 2008. Yeah. So I lost all of my clientele. I didn't lose the business. I lost my clientele, which mm -hmm. led me into real estate. And I knew that I was never going to work for anybody else. This, this, this was the key. And so I knew that if I didn't want to go work for somebody else, nothing wrong with that. Yet I knew that if I did not want to go do that and go backwards, in order for me to go forward, I had to be around an environment that was conducive to that. And I was introduced to bold in 2010. And if it wasn't for bold, I would probably have to go work for somebody else. Wow. So it, we have to take ownership of our lives, we have to let ego put it to the side and say, you know what? It's bigger than me. It's bigger than me. If I think I have enough, let me go make some more for somebody else. Right. 
Mm -hmm. And and I think too, to end on this note, you know, I know some people are thinking, oh, I just don't know if I have the time for it, you know, to give up a day a week. Uh, it's not even a full day, right? We're going to be, I think it's nine to two, but my loves that are listening to this, you, you have nothing but time to invest in your business and, um, and you'll be working on your business while you're involved, right? So when, when you hear someone say, I just don't have time, are there any final thoughts on that? Yeah. So here's my question to that. Do, is your pipeline full of buyers and sellers right now? If it's not, you have the time. And if you are, if your pipeline is full of buyers and sellers, this is going to help you add leverage so that you can get even more buyers and sellers. So we find time for things that are important to us. If I, if you say, Vashay, do you have time to go watch TV? I'm going to make time because I enjoy that. If you say, Vashay, do you have time to go hang out at lunch or go shopping? I'm going to make time for that. So we have to make time for the things that allow us to live the luxuries that we decide. Yes. 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 Well, I'm excited about this bold. I will be there with you every week too. So, um, so will our other team leaders and we believe in this. We believe in you. I'm excited to uh, start this journey with you and it is going to be a great opportunity for you to level up or break through whatever is holding you back. And we're going to be um, launching bold on Thursday, April 4th. We have information about the location and all the logistics for you, but it will start on April 4th and run through the uh, total seven weeks until the end of May, when you can look back and see how much more listing, how many more listings you've taken, how much more your business has grown, how many more people you've added to your database, right? The, the goal here is for you to have tangible results over those weeks, uh, starting in week one. And I know Vishay is going to be there to make sure it happens for you. She, um, She's very passionate about you and your business. And I'm excited that you're coming to New York. Yes, I get to hang out and do all the fun things in New York. I'm so excited. Yeah. Yes, we'll <laughs> definitely talk more about that too. Yes. All right, everyone. Thanks. And we'll see you at Bold. Bye. <laughs>